Okay, so, hi, my name is Evac. I'm from Perplexity on the server Malganus. I made this video originally for my guild members, but I'm sure that a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of other people in the world of Warcraft can also benefit from it. This is designed when the boss casts Reshape Life onto a player in the second phase, which, as the explanation says, Unsock unleashes a torrent of am amber at a player, transforming the target into a misshapen mass of flowing amber that is hostile to players and monsters alike. So pretty much you turn into the big ugly motherfucker, um, you get four abilities. I'm going to explain exactly what each ability does, and I'm going to show you guys how I use these to my advantage. First thing to note is this was like my second time getting transformed, so this may not be done 100% efficiently and perfect as some would like it, but it's enough not to wipe the raid and get the job done. So, you guys will see as soon as I get transformed, the first thing I want to do is push one. It's called Amber Strike. This will put a debuff on the boss or extended stacks if it already has it. It'll also do damage and interrupt any spell casting. The next ability on my bars is Struggle for Control. This one expends 8 willpower to force the mutated form to cease all action for 0.5 seconds. So pretty much it sends me for half a second when I use it, and it's used to interrupt when the player is casting Amber Explosion. That way I don't explode and do damage to the raid. Okay, the third ability is Consume Amber. This will suck up a pool that's laying on the floor, and that restores 20 willpower and it will heal me for two million. Uh, the good side is you don't die, that yellow bar in the middle of my screen, that hits zero, I die. The majority of my abilities use that. So the three I use to suck up the pool, that way I avoid death. But it also heals me for a decent bit. The last ability I have is break free. When my player is below 20%, I can use this at any point, and that'll drop the construct. Um, you want to make sure you do this because, like I said, if the yellow bar in the middle reaches zero, the character will just die. And you're no use when you're dead. Okay, now let's watch all this in action. You'll see when I get transformed, the first thing I'll do is push one to keep any stacks that may be on the boss up. Um, at this point, I'm not really watching anything besides my timers. I'm just spamming one, uh, waiting for explosion on myself to come up. Here you'll see my cast bar is casting. I push two to interrupt it almost immediately. The sooner you get it, the better. There I just drank a pool, because I know that I'm enough to drink at least two pools during this, because I'm going to be interrupting the boss before I get out of my suit. And I'm still just watching my timers. There's the cast on me again. I interrupt that. Drink another pool, just because I know I'm going to have to drink two, and I want enough time for when I have to get the interrupt on the boss. The interrupt on the boss is called the same thing, Amber Explosion. You'll see it approaching here soon. There was the one on myself again. And there's the one on the boss, and I interrupt it. Um, I believe I stayed in the suit a little bit longer to get an extra stack up before dropping myself. There you go. I got an extra stack on the boss for the next person, and I dropped the suit. Frankly, this is fairly easy, but a lot of players, including players in my raid, had trouble with it, so I decided to make this quick how-to video for you guys so that uh, everyone's able to master this and become experts. Like I said, it's may not have been the most efficient way, but it definitely worked for me just fine. A couple things to keep note of. Um, if you take a while to interrupt yourself, like if you let the cast delay, when it's time to interrupt the boss, that one will cast at the same time as your cast. So it'll be very, very close. In that position, you always want to interrupt yourself first, because if you're casting and you haven't interrupted it, you can't do anything else. So you'd want to interrupt yourself and immediately spam one, hoping that you get the interrupt off. Next thing is make sure you don't drink too many pools. I think two should be the max, because I was just fine right there on energy. If you drink too many, it's going to be really hard for your raid to DPS you below 20%, so you can break free, and your raid's going to fall behind, and you might have a second amber up. Thank you guys for watching. As always, push subscribe, and uh, hopefully this helped you guys out.